Hello YouTube, welcome to a new Scene Anatomy video. Newfangled Audio has teamed up again with Eventide to release a new plugin. This time is a free Synth plugin with the name Pendulate. An interesting thing on Pendulate is it's not based on classic virtual analog synthesis or wavetable or FM. No, it's based on West Coast synthesis, so it's a kind of a Bukla synth in a new format and some with new features. And you must know here, Pendulate doesn't require any iLog and so on, so you can only download it from the website and use it. And it's a mono synth, so it's not polyphonic. So starting here with the double pendulum, what you can see on the interface, it doesn't remind you of a classic virtual analog synth. So you don't have the oscillator section, a filter, a VCA and so on. So it's a bit different. So it all starts here with the double pendulum. And the double pendulum acts as a double oscillator. Okay, you have here again the oscillators, but they are a bit different. So you have one which is a chaotic oscillator, and one you have a non chaotic oscillator. And uh, with different parameters, you can uh, play with each, each other. And at the beginning, they are all non chaotic, so it is sound like this. Very classic but you can put the chaos in it so that both um, rings, I can call it here rings, or then they become the pendul both pendulums remove from each other with the chaos amount. And with this you can create some new harmonics in your sound and they become richer. So it's not this flat sign uh, sound but they become far richer. But this can also be shaped further with the shape chaotic oscillator feature. And it goes up to noise. And then you have also an animate feature, which is basically a detune function between the chaos and the non chaotic oscillator. This is something you know from other synthesizers like a virtual analog one. Then you have also one sub oscillator which goes one node below. And a sub two which goes two nodes below. The oscillator sync which syncs the chaotic oscillator to the non chaotic oscillator. And this feature gives you, especially again, some other tunes. And then you have also a feature where you can um, change the interval between the chaotic oscillator and the node plate. And you can go here from uh, octave and different other intervals here. Then you have from the double pendulum, it goes to the wave folder. So it doesn't go in a filter first. So the wave folder is um, it's like a shaping function, if you know a bit of uh, West Coast synthesis. 
so it produces more harmonics. And in the beginning, you doesn't hear uh, big changes here. Because you need to put up the gain of the drive. And then you have a folding section here, so you can change the number of folds. Then you have the symmetry, so it offsets into the wave folder, so it adds even more harmonics. So super rich sounds here. Let's take a bit uh, an octave higher. So you can hear you add here a lot of harmonics to your sounds. And with the mix knob, you can um, put the amount how much wave holding you add to your sound. And with the cutoff, you can change the cutoff frequency of the Bugler wave holder output here. The wave holder is based on the Bugler 259 complex waveform generator, but they added here a mix section and a cutoff. And we can play further with it. Especially if you drive it very high, it becomes super dirty. So this cutoff here is designed to remove some um, harmonics of your sound. So very interesting and for me very characterful section here. Then you have uh, the low pass gates and this is also a feature which we know from Bukla synthesizers or any West Coast synthesizer. And this one is based on a 292 low pass gate from the booklos. And they added here the feature a pulse function and a resonance. So it acts more as a filter here, but remains the character of low pass gates. And you have also a key track and a velocity. You can hear it's a filter, but um, it, technically it's a, a, it's a bit softer and differently. But in low pass gate, it remains uh, better the harmonics in my opinion. Of course, you have in the low pass gate also your envelope here. So this is an ADSR. So these are more snappy and more smooth for smooth sounds. Well, that's the main synthesis engine here. You have the double pendulum, which goes in the wave folder and then the low pass gate. But you can also modulate this. And here the modulation system is inspired very on the mo modular synthesizers. So, for example, I take here want to take um, LFO here. You press on the LFO here, and then let's take here, for example, the fold, and then you can move it from the left side for negative, and to the right side for positive. So let's make this. Maybe 
let's change here also the chaotic um, oscillator. We take an other waveform here. And let's also modulate this one. Interesting also fact is here um, the main envelope here is not the ADSR on the bottom here but the low pass gates so you get very smooth sounds here out of it so you must know here don't change here the envelope for your amp envelope no this is done here in the low pass gate because it's a combination of a filter and a VCA so the VCA is here combined here with this envelope but you have also here a different um, in one more ADSR, so for more modulations, uh, with also different sh shapes here. So we have one LFO and one ND ADSR envelope. And uh, interesting also thing is here, you can also modulate the attack, decay, the sustain and release of the low pass gate. So you can create even more interesting sounds of it. Then you have um, also on the left side here the global section, which makes um, in, in, in for me, a very important feature is here the stereo function. So we heard now all the sounds only in mono, but you can also put it on stereo for a different character. You can change the octave. This goes up to two octaves and two below. Then you have legato and the pitch band here, portamento, which is quite cool for creating some interesting sounds. You will hear this later in my sound demos. Then you have here the velocity also, modulation, so the mod wheel, uh, keyboard also, pressure, cool here, it has MPE. So if you activate it here, you get here uh, pressure also, or you can also map it here. So. If you so it's aftertouch and you have timbre and um, it comes also with many different um, sounds here built-in sounds and you have also compare feature so you have one if you you have a preset and you manipulate it you can compare both what is very handy then you have also these different settings like the rendering you can change if your computer is a bit lower on CPU you can change this and some other, so we can turn off also the vis visualizations here. And as I said, you have also MPE, and you have also a random function, which is cool if you don't have now an idea for a sound. Let's randomize. And you have three different um, interfaces. You have here this very this white one, which I don't prefer here. You have a modern one, and you have a twin turbo. Personally, I prefer the modern one. It's only mono, what is a bit pity, but let's see. And also to know is it doesn't resize, so it do it doesn't have the GUI resizing. Maybe they will update it, hopefully, because I really love to have a bigger interface or a smaller interface. So this is missing here. I am really enjoyed this new newfangled audio synthesizer. And so I decided to create a free sound library for you. So I have created a sound library with 40 new sounds. And let's play with this now. And if you want to download it, just go in the comment section and download it. It's free. And if you want to support me, you can also 
pay one dollar for it so it's nice big thanks and let's hear the sounds
I hope you enjoyed the sound demo of my free sound library. Please download it for free, it's yours, play around with it and let me know what you think about the sounds. And if you enjoy them, maybe support me so I can continue making videos, also in situation like today. Big thanks! For me, the newfangled audio credits here a really interesting synthesizer, with a, finally with a different idea, so not again a virtual analog or FM or wavetable. It takes the sound in different uh, territories and it's cool to play around. I think many people will enjoy, will enjoy it and it's not too complicated and the sound quality is also very good here and the sounds are very unique here so it's hard to compare it with something different. A uh, big like for this, big thanks Newfangle Audio for releasing this for free and of course what is important here it doesn't require any iLog or auto registration, email registration or so. It's free, it's a free download. Enjoy it. Big thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more future videos. Big thanks and see you soon in one of the next Synanatomy videos. Bye!